everyone welcome back to mojo's money my name is lacy and what we talk about on mojo's money is cash stuffing sinking funds paying down my mortgage savings challenges etc and today we have our first cash stuffing for the first paycheck of february 2023 so what i've got is my breakdown spreadsheet i've got my low and high priority sinking funds binders i've got my sort quick i've got lululama and i've got my cash and we are ready you guys let's get into it <laughs> So first of all, let me zoom in. I have my list of sinking funds over here, what the end goal would be, and what we're stuffing today on my spreadsheet. Of note, over here on the right, these envelopes are what I picked with the random number generator that are going into my 80 envelope challenge. That is what I'm rounding up to, and those add up to $210, which is going into my 80 envelope challenge, which is for my emergency fund. All the rest of these are not really super remarkable and we'll go into them as we get through the cash stuffing portion. My total today that I'm stuffing is going to be $432. I forgot to put in my cash breakdown, but I did make one after I printed this. <laughs> Let's go to the bottom where I have the totals and I wanted to talk about a couple of things. First of all, I did have to use 90 four dollars out of my emergency fund alas but it was for a good cause it was to get my doggo microchip so he is uh lost proof maybe <laughs> hopefully if he ever gets lost someone will take and get him scanned and they'll know where he lives my remodel fund i am building that back up but it's not back up to where it was before we had to use some of the money so still working on that then down here you'll notice I used some of the furniture money and I got two new desktops for the game room that we're remodeling it was a bedroom we're remodeling it into a game room so I got some desktops for our computer desks and yeah that's really everything remarkable in the totals that we won't already go over in the cash stuffing so let me zoom back out here Now, let us start with our high priority sinking funds here. And we will go down the road. So first off, new car. New car is getting $10. Got my money here up top in my lovely cash holder. And before we do anything, let me get my sort quick on so that I can count this money and not have it slipping all over the place. Now with $10 added to new car, we have 50, 150, 250, 350, 450, 500, 50, 600, 610, 620. I still can't color in a car on my tracker because I need $686 to do that, but we're getting close. Today is the fourth. I'm doing my first cash stuffing a little bit earlier. I didn't get to it until the 8th of January, so <laughs> doing it on the 4th I think went pretty well, especially considering we were frozen in with the ice storms this week. But we never lost power. We didn't have any pipes bust or anything, so that was awesome. Orlando Trip Fund is only going to be able to get five today. These bills are facing the wrong way. And let's see what we have now. 100, 200, 300 in the bank. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 350 cool so my vacation tracker I cannot color until I have 480 but I did make this and so far I've been a little bit disappointed because I haven't got to color that much stuff on it so I need to be a little more aggressive on my vacation fund I think <laughs> okay next is my certification exam fund it is getting $25. I do think I will be able to color some of this. So 
so now we have 20 40 60 80 85 dollars in that fund very nice my goal for that is 500 so each of these is 17 let's see so we have 85 divided by 17 five suns so yay i get to color two more let me find my yellow all right The reason why I combine savings challenges with my sinking funds is really just for motivation purposes. If you're wondering, it just makes it more fun to me, so I like doing it a little bit more. <laughs> Alrighty, now the remodel fund. We can't color anything today because we had taken some out, so I'm going to wait until it fills back up before I color anything else. But we are adding 17. So we have 10, 15, 16, 17. Ooh, let's organize this a little bit. So, in the remodeling fund, we have 1,000 in the bank. 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. 1,023. It was at 1,079 before we took money out. So we'll keep adding back in. The Christmas fund is getting $75. I want to be fully prepared for Christmas when it comes this year. <laughs> so 50, 70, and 5. Let's count this up. There's 100 in the bank. 50, 200, hey. 20, 40, 45, and 50. $250 in the Christmas fund, yay! Now, let us get our little calculator. Each of these are 38, so we have 250 divided by 38. We need to have six trees colored and a half, but we're not going to do half. So there's four. We need two more colored. Let me find my green. Wet erase vis a vis. Okay, there it is. Slowly but surely, we are getting this filled up. Okay, moving on. The mortgage fund is getting $35. This is for extra principal prepayment on my mortgage, and I am going to be doing this deposit every quarter. 20, 30, and five. Ooh, fives are looking crazy. Which means in February, March, at the end of March, I will make this payment to the mortgage fund and update you guys on where we're where we are at with my mortgage so currently in this fund after adding the 35 we had 50 90 110 nope 50 70 90 100 105 that makes way more sense that was weird sorry everyone And then, last but not least, the veterinary fund is getting $10. This is for my cats to get their shots in the summer. We've had a lot of veterinary bills lately since we got a dog in January, who just so happens to be a puppy. Somewhat. He is now five months. Yes, he just reached five months, and I think he's like five months in a week now. So we are at 50, 70, 90, $100. My goal for this is 150. And we need to do our little magical mayhem challenge for this. So we added 10. Let's see. Let's get out of order. 
we'll put that we did five and green five so we added 10 today my lovely Larry's this is by Alicia from Hands and Bands oh and she has Larry Banks now that are 3d printed and I want to get one I will link her channel below if you're not already a fan all right so there's my high priority binder you'll notice I took out the fridge envelope because we've got the fridge it's beautiful I did post a picture of it and I love it so much it is serving all of the needs all of them now we're moving along to the lower priority sinking funds and each of these are getting five dollars today so I will try to speed through this which means we have 100, 150, 170, 175, 180 in the investment property category. Get in there. Then in the furniture category, I need to update it because I took out 50 and I'm adding five. So now we have five, six, seven, eight. Now the home security fund, also getting $5. Count this real quick, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. The washer dryer fund also getting five so now we're at 50 60 70 75 76 dollars and I don't get to color another one of these until I think it's like uh, that would be 134 dollars the Wacom Tablet Fund, which I think I'm going to actually just change this to General Electronics because my tablet's working and we might need computer parts before I get my tablet, so yeah. Anyways, same exact fund, just a different title. That's what we will be changing it to eventually. Now we will have 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48 dollars in the Now Electronics Fund. <laughs> Next is our RV fund, also getting five. So we now have 10, 15, 20, 21 dollars. Next is our electric bikes fund. Whoops, the envelope is weird. It's all bent. This five is weird. <laughs> wow. It has been through the circuit of use, clearly. Okay, so 10, 15, 20, 21, gosh. The clothing fund, ooh, I also have a tracker back here for this. I always forget about this one and I love coloring it. So now we are at 10, 15, 20, and 21 dollars. So let me find my little orange. We'll color this five. I need to do one of these bigger numbers at some point on here because I'm going to run out of fives. And then the last category, the tires fund. Getting five. Putting us at 10, 15, 20, and 21 dollars. 
the sloppiest counting I've ever done. Maybe, maybe it's not. Okay, well, you guys have seen it. Here we are. That was my low priority and high priority sinking funds binder stuffing for the first paycheck of February, 2023. And the money that you still see up here is going to be going into my a envelope challenge, which will be in my next video. So stay tuned for that. And everyone, let's see, what should my question of the day be? What are you most looking forward to in February? Uh, for me, it's probably Valentine's Day. And I think we might go out on a date or just have like a fun little movie night or something like that in. But I'm definitely looking forward to it. It's a fun little day. But everyone have a great day. Bye.